Hey everyone, this is Lynette Chandler from Thrive Anywhere. Today, I am going to show you how to add a drop shadow to shapes in Canva. All right, so you might be thinking, what is the big deal? You can already easily add drop shadows or glow to your elements in Canva. Well, you are right. Canva does have that feature where you can easily do it in one click. However, if you might have noticed, sometimes it doesn't work. You don't have that option at all. Well, here's what I mean. So let's take a look at what is on our screen right now. I have a shape and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image here. Let me make this image a little smaller. Now the images have this option to edit photo. And under edit photo, you have the shadow effects. You can do that very easily here. However, let us switch to the shape tab. Now you can see the shape does not have any of those options. It doesn't have the edit image option at all. You can edit your shape, yes, but you cannot add a shadow. What do you do in a case like this? Well, it's very simple. First thing I will do is size and put whatever my shape is, make sure it's the right size that I want. And then I'll go find an image. Usually I'll find a blank white image. And if you don't have one, simply add a page here, uh, make this white, and then just uh, go ahead and download uh, this blank page as a PNG JPEG. It really doesn't matter then upload it to Canva itself. Let me shape this image to the right size, just like uh, my shape here. And let me go ahead and zoom it in just a little bit so you can see. Now I go to edit photo and then I will go to shadows. Click on drop shadow. And then now I might make this a little larger because you see what happened when I added the drop shadow, the image actually shrunk to make place for the shadow. I'm gonna change the size maybe to five, uh, maybe not the blur amount, keep the blur amount a little lower. I might wanna keep the angle the same and the distance, maybe I might wanna make it bigger. Either way, you still have to adjust the size because that's the way the shadows feature works here in Canva. And then now I place it over that a little bit. Good. Now that I've done that, I will go to position layers and then just simply move it behind the shadow. And there I have it. And then now to make sure I don't mess this up, I will always try to group it together so that when I move it or anything like that, I don't displace the shadow at all. I hope you found that useful. Once again, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel to be alerted for further videos like this. Thank you very much for being here. I'll talk to you another time.